Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Athea Sabrina Acapo, and why don't you guys first to, uh, to know, first of all, that I'm missing you guys so, 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 so much. You guys have no idea. I wasn't able to get one last night, so just wanted to give a little heart to heart to let you guys know that I'm always thinking of you. I'm always praying for each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you guys. But God laid some upon my heart. And that is to open your heart. This is the season of opening your heart. Not only opening your heart to God, but he's wanting you to as well open your heart to others and not be closed off but to let go and let God have his way and to come to God with the right heart posture and like David be like David men and women after his own heart and with you coming to God with that right standing and right heart posture and being like David men and women after his own heart that will in turn ooze out to others and will be a representation and a reflection of Jesus Christ to catapult differences in their life and to take them to higher dimensions and higher levels and even bring and win souls to Christ. So it was actually a lesson learned for, for me and this word is actually for me as well because I have a tendency to not want to let go and open my heart to others. So I wanted to come on and testify myself of I am a work in progress and it is one of my points that I am praying about and God is working on me tremendously, and I'm excited about it. You know, you have to do these things in order to go to the next level. You have to do these things in order to go to the next dimension in him. You have to be acceptable and susceptible to make the necessary changes in order for the new things that God is bringing forth and he's bringing into fruition in this season. So he not only wants you to come to him with the right heart posture, but he's bringing new people in your life. And it it's like a preparation. I apologize that the video is dark. I am actually writing you guys. And this was just the actual spur of the moment thing that God has placed on my heart of hearts. And I wanted to come to you and bring it forth with power and as a, you know, representative and as a reflection of God's image on today. Knowing that first and foremost, we are his heart and knowing that it's very important to display those characteristics and not only the right heart posture, but even a heart of love because God is love. So come to people in this season with the acceptable and the acceptance of the new heart posture, the new love, the new openness in just being like David, men and women after God's own heart. And because he's bringing those new revelations, he's bringing those even new mantles, he's bringing those new beginnings, he's bringing those new marriages, he's bringing those new jobs, he's bringing those new adventures, he's bringing that new excitement, he's bringing that new enlightenment. He's changing the entire trajectory of his life. What the Holy Spirit is speaking to me is the same thing he's bringing to you. And he's giving you his heart of hearts. He's wanting you to ooze that very same thing out to the new people that he's positioning in your life, that he's bringing in your life to catapult you to that next level and to that new dimension. He longs for you to open up your heart, let it go. The past 
is the past. And I am talking to myself, to you guys. The past is the past. So right now on this platform, Sabrina, Prophetess Sabrina is letting go. I'm turning over that new leaf to open up my heart and be like David, a woman after God's own heart, being susceptible and acceptable to the new beginnings, to the new light, to the new excitement, to the new things that he has right front and center in my face. So I am ready to, because he's made waves and he's ordered my steps as well as you, you know, he's the waves are paved as well. He's paved the way. You are not in the same circumstances. You, When you're at a different heart posture and you have a heart for God and your total dependence and total reliance is on him, nothing will be withheld from you. He loves you more than you could ever know or ever even imagine. So... Open up your heart. Have that heart of no fear. Know that the Lord is your helper. You do not have to fear. What can man do to you? The Lord is the joy and the strength of your life. Of whom shall you be afraid? And his word says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all thine soul, and lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thine ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Trust in him, for he will surely bring you to the top. Don't be deceived by deceitful men and women. Know who and whose you are. Trust in the Lord, for he will surely, most definitely, and most absolutely bless you. He will bless you. Exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think according to the power, the Holy Ghost power that worketh on the inside of you. So just wanted to bring you that heart to heart on today to go to God with that right heart posture always. Be like David, men and women after your own heart. Don't let anything stagnate or stifle you of moving forward. Uh, cause you to procrastinate of moving forward. Know that God has a heart of love for you and open up your heart to be able to receive love that's being oozed out from others to you because other people do love you. So don't, don't um, think that people don't love you because they actually do love you. Some people may not show it in a way that you're wanting them to show it or express it. But you have to realize that people do love you. And you'll be able to discern who is for you and who loves you and who doesn't. So pray that this word has edified, enlightened, excited, and encouraged your life today. It has certainly encouraged me on today. It has certainly caused me to open up on a different level, on a different dimension, um, in a new way turning over a new leaf, turning over um, a different heart posture, turning over that heart of love, turning over that heart of joy, turning over that heart of forgiveness, turning over that heart of letting go, knowing that old things have passed away. His word says, behold, I am doing a new thing, new, new things, new heart. Know that he has created you a clean heart. He has created you a new heart. In a steadfast, unmovable, unshakable, unbreakable, unstoppable spirit within you. So continuously come to him with the right heart posture. Continuously be like David, men and women after his own heart. Know that he has a heart of love for you that is unconditional, that is agape, that will never fade, that will never fade. So know that if no one loves you, know that God loves you unconditionally. So... I will talk with you guys later and 
Do like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. Take care. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. And until the next video, you probably will get one uploaded tonight with some light, of course. This was just a spur of the moment thing, but I definitely wanted you guys um, to hear my voice. Um, because that voice is definitely going to carry that anointing to be able to reach the way God wanted to reach tonight on the heart of love. So I will talk to you guys later. Once again, I love you guys very, very much. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that noti bell where you can be notified each time I upload a video. And until the next video, we will talk soon. I love you guys. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.